I'm Jeff. I'm Mike. We're from Devil Driver, and we're here to show you how to play Pray for Villains off our new record, Pray for Villains. Uh, for Pray for Villains, you're going to have to tune your guitar to drop C tuning, which basically is C, G, C, F, A, and then the highest string is D. So it's down a full step, and then the top string is stopped, dropped another full step beyond that. One, two, three, four. The rhythm basically, you know, like I start off playing a, you know, just an open power chord and then kind of go into individual, an individual string when I'm actually, you know, in the, in the middle of the riff. And it's just a chromatic progression going from five to six to seven. And then the, uh, the tails of it are, um, it's basically just a big power chord. It just goes root, fifth, octave, and then a fifth and another octave, like that. And then we just strum it. And then the second half of it is you're doing the exact same thing, but you're just palm muting the whole thing and, you know, playing downstroke eighth notes. And so on, and then um, the, uh, the tail changes a little bit and just goes to this. Which is uh, 10, 8, 6. And and then the, uh, that's the whole intro for me. And then my line is basically the same thing. It's a chromatic progression. Um. So basically the first part is you're mimicking essentially what the rhythm guitar is doing and it's like you're kind of like pedaling off like a fret seven on the G string. Um, and basically you're like playing the first part of the riff where you're doing the high like progression chromatically and then you come in uh, unison with the other guitar. So at, at the end, so it's basically you play like the first part and then you, you come in with the rhythm unison and then you do like the, the, uh, the first part of the chords and then the descending part with a And then it goes in to the next part, that's basically the intro. And basically the whole song is based off this one riff. Yeah. I mean, we, it's, uh, I think, uh, God, I think the whole song, except for the midsection, is basically based off this riff. Yeah. It's a pretty straightforward song. It's one of the easier songs to play on this yeah. record. I'd say the only song that's easier is Back With A Vengeance, but this might be the second easiest song on the record. It's like, I think the key to songwriting is taking an idea and using it at the most that you can with it before it becomes redundant. And, and I think boring. that's a, it's a very Berklin thing to do with that. It's kind of got where I think me personally, I, I think I overdo it in some of my, some of my songwriting. Like, you know, if you, if you guys have heard the record, I've been sober. I mean, there's about a million riffs in that song and I kind of have a tendency to overdo it. But the, you know, luckily this one's a little bit more simple. The, the intro is, 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 uh, consists of the main, the main riff that, uh, the foundation of the song, I guess you, you can say, but it's just the first time is um, played more open. And then the second time is it just, we tighten it up and, you know, just do downstroke. With two different tails. The first tail is. The second tail is. And that's it. <laughs> 